Good evening. It's the phone here. It's the Watchdog Report. Tonight's show is going to be on keeping the ball rolling. We have my co-host, Gregory Kane, and we have our guest, Greg Ball, Assemblyman from New York State. Gentlemen, let's start the show, show off. Greg and Greg, tell us what's happening, man. How are you? How you doing, Greg? Happy back. I know they, they had a meeting in New York State. They come out with the budget. Yep. I don't want to get depressed, but yeah, I know yeah. you're going to depress me. But <laughs> So how much are we spending? Tell us well, what's by happening. By our good friend, let's put our prayers and thoughts oh. out to Nick DiTomasa. Oh, yeah, Nick. Yeah, Nick, is. Uh, we found out this morning he's now in the hospital. We'll find out what, how he is in, uh, after we do the show. So hope he's all right. Prayers go out to you. All right. I just so. got, you know, I have uh, Greg Kane. I asked him not to bring his dog this time. Uh, right, but, 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 but the he dog brought, is... He brought the dog anyways. Okay. And it's about... Look at the size of that dog. Come <coughs> here. But anyway... Oh, this is a beautiful animal. Yeah. This is wonderful. See, this is... Uh, it's, it's amazing how much the dog looks like its owner. It's getting more and more. He even got the same kind of color. And it smells the same smell. <laughs> All right, but listen, we only have a, a half hour, so... Yeah. The dog... Sitting the little dog down. Nice, you ought to teach the dog a trick, at least. Well, he was. He was trick. barking. Every time we talk about taxes, you'll hear him. He'll bark? He'll bark. Okay. All right. So tell us what's going on in Albany. Just got back. Uh, we had the state of the state, and uh, the governor seems to be talking the right talk, which is, you know, I mean, Ed, I know you've been fighting the fight at the grassroots level, at the local level on taxes, and God bless you for a long time. Long time. And, uh, you know, this legislature is hopelessly addicted to spending. Right. But even those in the legislature, not all of them, but, even, you know, even those in the legislature on the other side of the aisle seem to now finally be talking the right talk about actually cutting taxes, but beyond that, realizing that high spending equals high taxes. Right. A lot of times they try to avoid that, that fundamental reality of government. Well, that's a good start. It is a good start. So, so, now, let, so now let's. So that was a good start. They started talking. <laughs> and then the first thing they did was pass two bills that would cost upstate uh, money through unfunded mandates. So they didn't, they didn't necessarily get it, but hopefully those bills will be killed in in the state senate. Um, and there looks like there's an agreement on an ethics package uh, up in Albany uh, to begin cracking down on some of the campaign finance uh, laws and the loopholes. And and uh, you know hopefully we'll begin the budget discussions early on. And, you know, it's a tough city because you have, we just watch California, and uh, if we're not careful, uh, California is going to be coming to a state near you. Uh, and the deficit spend spending, this complete reliance upon Wall Street to fund uh, this government's addiction to spending, it just doesn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you know, Elliot Spitzer, uh, when he passed his first budget, it was the largest increase in state spending in New York state history at that time. And this is a guy who ran on a campaign pledge of everything's going to change on day one. Well, can you tell us what the increase is right now? Right now, I mean, the budget that was just passed right. that had the MTA payroll tax and all the taxes and fees was a 10%, a near 10% increase in spending in New York state history, okay? And there were about, out of the $10 billion increase approximately, there's also approximately $8 billion in hidden taxes and fees. And not only that, it wasn't it wasn't balanced, and that's why we had to go back in the fall. And I stated that even as a as a freshman, or but but that was the past budget. That was the past budget. We no. don't have a new budget at this time. The governor hasn't outlined it. He's oh. put together a broad set of proposals and ideas and things he wants to do. That's what the state of the state was all about. Right. Uh, but we've yet to see any details. And and, and uh, the time is supposed to be April first, right? Right. And we, we don't care about the time, as long as the budget is correct. Yeah, I mean, it's, it that's, down, that's so. a typical game of, of what politicians right. did. They, want, they, they do not want the press to be focused on the real issues, which is what's in the budget. Right. So they put together a false timeline and say, well, you know, we, our focus is going to be get this done on time. Well, if, if Armageddon, my comment always is, if Armageddon was on time, would we be happy? You know, and the focus shouldn't be, is this budget on time? The focus should be, is it balanced? Does it increase taxes? Um, does it create jobs? And can we afford it? Right. <clears throat> so all of the above. And while the, I'm sorry, but while the legislature is focusing on the budget, uh -huh. uh, they're not focused, and they haven't been focused on the economy. You know, we need to focus on the budget and get our get the addiction <clears throat> to spending in line, um, cut taxes where possible. But we have to do everything we can to get this economy back in line because historically the typical New York State recession lasts twice the national average. And we're hemorrhaging jobs. I mean, I know you can oh, see it in Yorktown, 
you can see it no matter where you are in Westchester, Putnam, right. or Davis County. Closing after closing. Small businesses are closing up shop, yeah. leaving the state. <clears throat> but the stock market is 10 point something points now, yeah. 10,000 something points. Isn't that nice? So it is nice because you just said it. The government in New York State is run yeah. with that. Yeah, but you know and that affects you know the, the retirement. You know what the problem is? Is uh, Wall Street is benefiting from an unprecedented sp spending level from the federal government. So, so we have a federal government that bailed out Wall Street. Wouldn't it be nice to see small business owners in the state increasing their revenues by 10%, increasing their profit margins by 10%? Wouldn't it be nice to see our local small banks doing well instead of the mega banks and national banks? Wouldn't it be nice to see the, the guy down the street who's trying to send his kids? And that, that was what was so upsetting with the federal stimulus dollars and the, and, the, and the bailout money that went really, this new president, this new administration, in my opinion, if you look at the troops that are being sent to Afghanistan, if you look at the amount of spending, the bailout of the corporate interest, it's Bush's third term. And meanwhile, especially in New York State, the small business owners, people on Main Street, are not benefiting directly. Right. And we're not seeing anything close to a 10% increase. In fact, I, the people who I know are still reeling from this economy. And maybe the thought process, well, it'll all trickle down. But I thought that you know we were done with trickle down economics, but evidently not. Right, right. But so we're, we're waiting for, OK, well, Wall Street is increasing their revenue by 10%. So sooner or later, it'll get to us. Right. I really thought that we, that we were done, we're with, done that with that philosophy. That, so. Well, the thing is, you, you hear from the school districts and other places about the retirement system. And they, they put their portfolios mainly into stocks. Right. OK, and they get into other things. And then they raise it, the taxes that the people have to pay because it, the stock market is down. Right. Now it's back up to what it was before. Yeah. So theoretically, <laughs> we should be in good shape. They shouldn't be raising these retirements from 7% to 15%. And you should be happy to now see that we have a new tier system for new employees coming in that they will actually be paying into their retirement, at least in Did part. Did the state just do that? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. That, that was done, I, f I believe it was done uh, a couple weeks, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, okay. But the Assembly and the Senate both passed that piece of legislation. Well, passed. You know, that's, that, that shows that this legislature gets right, it. Right. Now, that's for new employees. Right. That's a very positive first, first step. Well, that is. That is. Now, uh, I know we've been talking a long time, especially with the school system. Do they talk about teacher centers? Now, I've been telling people here about teacher centers. There's about 121 of these. It costs about $31 million. They take it out every year from the budget, yeah. and then the lobbyists put it back in. I don't think now, you and I you have ever <clears throat> talked and you not mentioned the teacher center. Right, right. Exactly, right? Right. right. And this is for 10 years. And we got it to bring it out in the open. They talked about it. They took it out. Right. But then they put it back in. Right. So what I'm saying to you, when you raise your hand in that assembly thing, just say, listen, it's $31 million. We can reinstate some of the money towards the uh, STAR program, maybe, right, with that. Right. Or we'll cut taxes with yeah. it. I'd like to see that done. And what is the well, other, when the, when we the other two? When we go into that budget process, I invite you to come on up to Albany, or if, if there are any issues that you want me to raise during that budget negotiation, I'd be happy to bring it up. Right. And, and, and here's the, the other two. The member uh, monies. Yep. Uh, 212 Million. Senators and, and senators and uh, assemblymen, two hundred million dollars. Right. And I said cut it in half. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, there, there are a couple. Just think of, about there, there are a couple issues with the member items. One <clears throat> is there's over two hundred million dollars in member items. Yes. Right. And that's where the focus is. Just like is the budget on time is where the focus is because that's right. where the media has been directed to put their attention. 